Well, hello. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use ES Build Loader with Webpack 5. Let's get started. So, let's init a new project. Cool. Our package.json is here. I'll also create an npmrc file and specify some option to save our modules exactly um, basically pin the versions let's also install typescript so i'm going to do yarn add uh, for dev dependencies d typescript cool and i'm going to also initialize a ts config so tsc init and this should give us our ts config great now i'm gonna create a new typescript file like um i don't know index.ts and let's do console.log hello world and now to run it i'm gonna do tsc And we can run the index.js um, given by the DSC. This is great, but when the project becomes larger, let's say a couple hundred files, it becomes really hard to manage with the just the TypeScript compiler, in my opinion. So um, let's use Webpack to bundle our dependencies. Um, if you're not familiar with Webpack, you should go to Webpack and webpack.js.org so in a nutshell webpack is a static module bundler for javascript and we can use uh, different loaders for different things so i'm going to use um, esb loader to load in the typescript and bundle it similarly you can also use let's say something like graphql loader to load your graphql files things like that so um, let's install webpack I'm gonna do yarn add again D for dev dependencies webpack webpack CLI. Let's wait. Cool. I'm gonna delete this file. And let's create a file called webpack config.js. Webpack config.js let's also install the plugins i'm gonna install esb loader for ts checker and nodemon webpack if you're not familiar with es build by the way you can just go esbuild.github.io and it's quite mind-blowing it uses go under the hood and it's like super fast as you can see webpack 5 by default is quite slow so we are going to be using es build to hopefully speed up our builds great now let's install the plugins so let me clear this and i'm going to install yarn add can d es build loader fork ts checker webpack plugin and node mount webpack Again. let's hope I spelled those correctly let's wait awesome e installing and now let's start with our webpack config so to start off simple I'm just gonna do module.exports and this is basically where we define our webpack config so in webpack config if you're not familiar you can look at some documentation and get a better understanding of it in a nutshell we just give it an entry point and specify some options and it should give us a bundle so i'm going to start with mode and our target is node and for entry i'm going to specify our index.ts file Let's also provide a resolve. 
so it can resolve certain extensions so let's say dot ts dot js or maybe json now we will also provide additional options like stats so we can see our errors and there are tons of stats option you can take a look into the documentation and use what you like moving on let's specify a module let's specify some rules so i'm going to do rules it's going to be an array and inside the array i'll give it an object and i'm going to say test this option takes a regular expression so let's type it out and type for it let's specify a loader yes build loader let's specify some options let's specify target you can use ES2015 or maybe 18 or ES next or whatever you like and I'm gonna also tell you to exclude node modules this is pretty much the loader part now let's look into the plugins so I'm gonna come here and do plugins and I'm gonna give it an array cool let's import our plugins let's do const load on plugin require load on the pack plugin and similarly let's also import the typescript checker and now let's load the plugins so I'm just gonna do it new load mount plugin new typescript plugin so this basically helps us with the type checking during development and node mount plugin is basically just a node mount wrapper for webpack and one last thing is to specify the output so output basically deals with where we will output our bundle so it takes a file name i'm gonna do after js for path i'm going to bring in the path module And now let's specify the path. Let's do path dot resolve return name. And let's give it a dist. Awesome. Let's add some scripts to our package JSON. I'm gonna do scripts. For build, I'm gonna do webpack color progress. And for start, I'm gonna reuse our build script to do yarn build and basically run it in watch mode with hot module reloading let's do yarn start great we see our hello world now let's try to do some development so i'm going to remove this hello world and say hello es build and let's wait for it and it should automatically restart as you can see it's quite fast due to es build great let's also try the build command and we can execute our bundle simply by node test app.js cool let's check out our test you'll see it's bundle but it still bundles in development mode let's update our webpack config for production as well so i'm going to go to webpack config so i'm going to create a new variable called mode and we are going to do something like is development let's also define our is development variable so 
so this relies on environment variables so if we are bundling for production it will automatically default to production I'm gonna refactor some of the config and commit it to this repository awesome thanks for watching